Good evening. They say the state's criminal justice system is broken. Now, a new task force is coming up with a plan to present to the legislature to fix it. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at the DA's office with that story. Jackie. Dean, the 13 murders in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County over the past two weeks highlights the need for a new approach. But don't hold your breath for it to be implemented. It's the thing that keeps us um, up at night you know, at the district attorney's office. We don't have a clear sense right now what exactly is driving this spike in homicides. From a person found dead at Manal in Broadbent to a man's body found at the Econo Lodge on Corzand Eyliff when a motel employee went to clean the room. District Attorney Raul Torres says there have been 13 homicides in the Bernalillo County area within the past two weeks. The question we have to ask ourselves is why is this occurring and what can we do as a criminal justice system to promote public safety. This new task force is trying to answer that question, meeting for the first time today to evaluate how to improve criminal justice and public safety across the state. It's really important to bring all the stakeholders together and broaden the conversation around public safety to include mental health issues, substance abuse issues, and, and really dig into the structural reasons for why the criminal justice system right now isn't working. This is the Legislative Finance Committee says property crime rates are spiking and the number of homicides more than doubled from 2014 to 2016. And many of those arrested are repeat offenders. The recidivism rate, that is, people get out of prison and they reoffend one out of two times, that's unacceptable. So what can the system do? To fix that. We're going to need more police officers. This group will come up with recommendations for public safety improvements and present it to the legislature in October. I think this is going to be the solution. If they do pass any new laws, they won't go into effect until July of 2019. That means no action will be taken until the next legislative session. And Dean, by the way, the only representation from law enforcement invited today was the Fraternal Order of Police. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. The task force will meet three more times before presenting their plan to lawmakers. Well, voters